Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Isha Training Solutions, Kumar Gupta here. So, uh, I hope everybody is keeping safe uh, during this uh, very tough times, Corona. Um, today I'm going to make some very interesting uh, video uh, as to how to integrate this uh, load runner with, uh, with Grafana, I mean Inflex TV and Grafana. So, <clears throat> first of all, what is this Inflex TP and Grafana? Let's try to figure it out. And by the way, I didn't know that you know uh, there was a purpose for for a load runner to uh, to in to integrate with Inflex TP and Grafana. Jmeter, uh, I totally understand because you know while the test is going on, uh, if you wanted to look at what is happening, you know uh, there is no way. Uh, but uh, for load runner, you have the controller with which you will be able to see what is going on. Okay, on the go. So, uh, but still, you know, um, why would you need to integrate with the uh, load runner with uh, Inflex DB and Grafana? We will look into that a little later. Uh, but let's try to understand what is this, okay, Grafana, okay. And uh, this video will be a little longer, brother. Okay, everybody, this videos will be longer. And by the way, this video I'm specifically making to a wonderful lady called Madhu, who is trying to do this. Okay, uh, so she she approached me, and then the next day I lit, I did a little bit of research, and then you know there you go. Now I was able to figure it out. It's uh, it's actually fairly simple, and uh, you know creating the video. So Madhu, specifically, this is for you and uh, for everybody else. You know who doesn't know that you know there is integration possible. Okay, so uh, what is this? Uh, you know Grafana and Infects TV. Okay, Grafana is something. Okay, you have some data. Let's say you have some data. Okay, and then you wanted to see it in a form of a graph. Okay, form of a graph. Okay, and not just graph, but there are different ways which with uh, you can present that data. But here to simplify the things, you know, because as a performance tester, this is what we usually use for. So you want that data to be shown to you as a graph. Okay, and that too on the go, on the go as in the test is going on, the data comes to the Inflex DB, and then you can, as the test is going on, you know, uh, you can see the graph. Okay, on the go, then you can use the Grafana, and it need not have to be on the on the go as well. So even after the test is completed, you can do it as well. So. Uh, let's let's keep that word on the go aside so you have some data and you wanted to show it in the form of a graph or present it in the form of some sort of presentable thing not just graph maybe a pie chart or maybe you know in a different ways then you can use a grafana but for grafana uh, grafana itself okay so grafana okay itself okay doesn't have a database okay so the grafana itself doesn't have a database if you have some data in some database then it can show that data in the form of a graph but the grafana itself doesn't have a database so there should be a database wherein it can store the data and inflex db is the popular database okay which is free okay or open source instead of saying uh, free i would say open source okay so basically what Grafana would do is it will take the data from InflexDB and the data it will show it in the form of a graph as simple as that. So usually these both two things go together. So Kumar said are there other databases which are free? Yes there are other databases and is there other than Grafana is there other tools which can show it as a graph? Yes there are others but we will limit our discussions to only the Grafana and InflexDB. Okay. Now what we are trying to do here is in load runner and if you ask me specifically in the component called controller okay we run the test okay we run the test and obviously after the test is done maybe like let's say load test so uh, you know after the test is done you can open that and while the test is going on you can see it in the controller once the test is op uh, done you can go to the analysis and you look at the graph obviously those graphs whatever you look at there should be some data to it okay so basically we run the test and after the test there will be you know a, a file that is uh, generated okay the output file or the raw results file uh, most of the people who, who have run the test in load runner they know what is a raw results file so the raw results file is generated which contains the data basically what it contains is data that raw results file okay raw results file in other words okay it is a data okay or it's a data okay data so that 
we move it into InfluxDB. Okay, we move that data into InfluxDB, and then whatever the data which is there in the InfluxDB, you wanted to see that in the form of a graph, then Grafana is coming into picture. Okay, so you run the test. Basically, you have some data which is a raw results file, which is a database that you move it into some sort of you know time series database, which is the InfluxDB. And now that it is moved to the database, we can show it in the form of a graph. The InfluxDB doesn't have that capability, so you are using the Grafana. Now in the Grafana, you can see all those nice graphs. This is the whole purpose. Now most of the load runner guys they say that okay, so the most of the load runner guys they say that. Kumar sir, there is this analysis tool is there. Once the raw results file is generated, you can open that in the analysis tool file and you will be able to see the graphs. Then what is the purpose of moving this data into some other external database called InfluxDB and then uh, integrating it with Grafana and uh, uh, opening those graphs in Grafana? Why do you do it when the load runner itself is giving that capability? using this analysis tool in the component called analysis or tool called co analysis component or analysis tool okay the purpose of this is okay uh, component okay the, please ignore the spelling mistakes guys uh, as i said this this video will be little longer but guys so you have to have a little bit of patience here so <clears throat> what i figured out is uh, you know the granularity okay uh, in, in the load runner tool or in the analysis tool I think is 16 uh, uh, milliseconds or seconds uh, it's not seconds I believe I think it is 16 whatever you know or the unit is I can't remember I think 16 seconds maybe okay so basically okay whatever is the granularity there is a limitation to it okay it cannot go below that I think uh, it's 16 seconds you know it's been a while I've been using load runner so can't remember at the top of my mind but I think it is 16 seconds okay so it cannot go below that so you want to have a, even a minute granularity you want to, to break it down into like say one second it is not possible in this analysis tool so there are limitations and that's why um, you know you need to uh, you know you if you want a lower granularity then probably you can use these integrations and is there any other purpose there could be whom who might be using this Grafana Influx DB a lot they will be able to tell but based on my basic research I have done this is what I figured out or spoken to few people figured out by the way I'm not the expert here in I'm a load runner expert but not the expert in this Grafana Influx DB uh, somebody asked so I did the research and then I thought it will be useful to a lot of people so sharing the knowledge guys so there could be other advantages obvious advantages you know people are integrating there should be some uh, you know advantages but this is what I figured out okay uh, and uh, I spoken to a couple of people this is what they said but there, there could be other reasons as such okay uh, but I know very very few load runner guys who would have done this before guys not many because you have already have this analysis component which will give you all the graphs so I don't see a reason for this but if somebody is wanting to do it now I'm going to demonstrate that so now that you understood what how we are doing it what is this inflex db what is this grafana and what is this low runner how this is happening you understood all this and once and that the, there is a tool component called analysis in spite of that you know why we are using this so probably you know you got a fair bit of idea now i'm going to show you a little bit on the paint okay how we're going to go to integrate how, how we are going to integrate and quickly then i'm going to show you how to integrate so basically okay so here is your controller okay and then here is your Influx TB, okay. And then here is your Grafana, okay. So this is your controller, okay. And this is your Influx TB, okay. And this is your Grafana, guys. G R A, I think it's G R A F A in your Grafana. That's what it is. Uh, I mean, it would be embarrassing if uh, if the name itself I'm getting it wrong. Uh, I think it's Grafana, G R A F A N A. That's correct. Okay. Uh, so there you go. And then what you do is you run a test in a controller. A raw results file will be generated. Okay. Raw results file will be generated, and that contains the data. Basically, what it contains is data. Then 
you push that raw results file or data into InfluxDB, okay, and all the data will be now stored in InfluxDB, okay, and then you see that data in a form of a graph into Grafana, okay. So whenever this is a separate tool, this is a separate tool, and this is a separate tool, whenever some communication needs to happen between two components, it usually happens in via ports, okay. Obviously, there should be a port using which this, whatever this raw results file or some data that you're passing on from tool one to tool two, it happens through the port. So for InfluxDB, the port is, okay, the port is 8086. Yes, this is for Inflex only, right? Yeah, 8086. So this port is 8086, guys. So you usually on, on your personal machines, okay, these ports, all these ports will be open. But if you are using this company machines, these ports may be closed. So you need, you need to talk to your networking guys to open this port so that the data can be pushed across from, so that first of all, the connection can be made between controller or, and, uh, and Inflex DP and the data can be pushed across to here only if this port is open. Okay. And similarly, uh, for Grafana also, there is a port and the port is 3000. Okay. So here is the port with which uh, the data which is there in the influx db now can be pushed across to grafana using this port 3000 port is nothing but a door guys you know if if, a, if an external person want to enter into your house you know the door should be open otherwise you know he cannot enter here also there is some external tool trying to send some data over here the port over here should be open so that the data can be pushed across if you don't like this port and you you want want it to be something else i think it is possible but you have to go to the config file of this influx db and change the port so that the influx db starts using that new port that you have given but by default it is 8086 and this is 3000 and uh, if it's personal laptops desktops i think this will be by default open for me it was open but if it's a company's maybe it could be closed coordinate with your networking guys um, to open it or you you are an admin on the system you can open it yourself you can do some simple internet research to see how you can open the ports then you can do it anyways okay now first what we will work on is from the controller we will try to integrate the influx db but before that you have to install the influx db okay influx db sorry influx no influx influx db you have to install fortunately unfortunately you need not have to do that guys because what i figured out is if it is load runner 12.2020 okay i think it's whatever i have installed on my system is load runner 2020 i believe okay mm, let me check by the way i'm i'm not like properly prepared for this video guys i thought i'll do it on the go because i don't have too much time so you would have to bear with me so if you look at it whatever the tool that i have on my system okay uh, is there is this help about load runner analysis okay it is 2021 okay uh, so i don't know from which version okay uh, the influx db automatically comes with load runner but for me the the influx db came with the load runner installation i need not have to separately install it okay so uh, i think from 12.61 that's where i have read it 12.61 12.62 and then the later versions uh, the influx db automatically comes with the load runner if it's a lower version so you have to install it separately now that i have 2021 okay i have 2021 uh, even 2020 I'm sure okay uh, so the influx DB automatically comes with the load runner so is that is that so Kumar how do I know so simply go to the installation file of uh, of your uh, uh, load runner okay so let me open that uh, it's in the C folder I think in X yeah there you go micro focus load runner and I think this is there in the bin folder and yeah there you go in FlexDB you see it automatically came with the load runner so no separate installation is required yes you have to invoke okay you have to invoke the influx db so that it runs on the system so it's already invoked but I'll, I'll uh, close that so what you have to do is you have to run this influx influx.p so that you invoke this database now i have to go to the command line into this path what i will do is 
simply click on this and just say CMD automatically you go to that path you see in FlexDB path okay so again I'm saying guys or you can just open the command line and uh, browse to this path or simply click on this and then just say CMD so automatically a command prompt opens and in the command prompt it will open this in FlexDB folder okay now simply run this executable file okay so influxd okay flxd dot exe okay now you see the inflexdb database is invoked okay it is invoked now. so which means that the process is running now you can start using the database oh is that so kumar uh, can i start using this database show it to me simple okay now again just say cmd okay now run this command called influx okay now you see enter an influx query okay so what you can do is you can do some various uh, uh, commands okay the first command that you can do i just played around and figured out guys yesterday okay so the first command you can do is show databases how many databases are there on this particular influx db show databases it is yes guys i tried database it was not working so databases is the right one now you see there are by default when you install this underscore internal will be there and these are the new databases i have uh, i have created okay so wonderful so kumar can i create a new database yes um what is the command that i have used i think it was create database or something like that okay um show database show measurements use lr1 use database one show databases okay i think it was create so let me go ahead and try this so create database okay and we give a new any name let's say lr2 i think it's just say create lr2 not database okay create lr2 okay an error says found lr2 exceptions continuous oh you see create database okay create database okay now you say lr2 okay now you see the database lr2 is created now again i'll say show data databases wonderful okay oh sorry show databases show d a t a b a s e s okay now you see lr2 database is also created it's as simple as that okay now you wanted to use this database just say use lr2 okay now you say using lr2 database here you wanted to see if there is any tables so if you say show tables nothing will come up you have to say show measurements okay it's just the terminology they are using guys so there is no tables in this particular database called lr2 because we have just created that database it's fine so uh, <clears throat> no issues we come back and look at the measurements later but now we have there is we haven't installed influx db because it already came with the low runner but we have invoked the process so that the database is up and running and then we have created a new database called lr2 in this influx db wonderful so the first step is done guys the influx db is now up and running now you need to make a connection from the controller to the influx db via port 8086 not an issue wonderful it's a very very simple step okay so <clears throat> first open the controller open the controller and here go to something called results okay now you see something called influx settings wonderful just click on that okay now <coughs> server url you have to give okay how do i get this server url simple when you say start using or when you invoke this particular influx db to start using it it will give you the url http localhost 8086 8086 is the port and uh, you have installed this database in the localhost which means that it's in this personal machine and uh, this is how you can use it just copy this okay and then go back here paste it okay wonderful so you are making a connection from the controller okay again i'm repeating as you're making a connection from the controller to influx db using the port 8086 now okay now the connection is made but in this database there are multiple in this influx db there are multiple databases one is lr1 one is lr2 okay and lr2 and then new lr okay so so many databases are there okay 
which database which database you want sorry which database you want this raw results file to be sent to it cannot send it to all the databases it has to be sent it to only one database so that database you have to mention so i've already used lr1 let me say lr2 does this lr2 has any username password no we have, when we are created we haven't assigned any username password but if you have assigned it then you can enter the username and password there is no proxy url username password if you have set any of that then you have to give it so now the connection you have given the inf enough information so that the connection can be made the connection can be made but you wanted to check in before saving you wanted to check if this connection is correct or not just say test connection you say connection successful wonderful save it okay now the first thing the connection between these two is made wonderful guys wonderful superb okay no issues now so in the controller what i will do is i'll run a small test so that you have some raw results files generated okay so you run run a small test so that raw results file will be generated later on the connection is already made so once the raw results file you have it handy send it to this database inflexdb to this exact data database called lr2 okay first we will run this small test called raw results file so that you know you have this i have created a script called web http html before guys and i have uh, created a scenario with five users for only three minutes so let me run it okay okay so this is lr2 results is what i will give okay so wonderful guys just say okay now the test is started it's a very small script you know it's a relevant script that i've put so the script and the response times is not important here we'll concentrate on the connections okay connection between lr and uh, uh, the influx db and grafana okay the test has started guys there are some transactions which are getting passed and uh, i have designed this test for only 3 minutes uh, so if you only 2 minutes so if you hold on for 2 minutes the test would be done and you have the raw results file okay so in the meanwhile what i can do is basically i can show you how to make a connection from uh, influx db to grafana but first the grafana needs to be installed so uh, let the test be keep running guys okay so for installing grafana so what i did is i just said grafana download okay mine is windows so just say windows okay automatically you will go to the grafana website okay and then <coughs> it will show you the grafana for unix and windows and all that so i want it to download for windows okay and then you can have a zip file or an installer i went with an installer okay zip file means i don't know i think it will give you an executable wherein you can execute it and then whenever you don't want you can stop it but i went with an installer you just download it and install it it's very very simple guys so i'm not going to show you how to install because i've already installed grafana but it's very very few uh, small steps and you can see here in my programs okay it is already there okay it's a very simple installation guys you know uh, you know you see grafana oss it's installed okay so just download this and then click on next 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 and then just it gets installed and you can go verify over there and you wanted to access grafana okay simple again it is installed on the local host only local host but the port is 3000 but the port is 3000 as you see okay the port is 3000 with which you can access grafana just say click on enter and you will be able to bring up the grafana okay so now the grafana is downloaded installed and it is ready now you have to make a connection from influx db to grafana guys okay that i'll talk about it later but now by this time the raw results file would have been ready now we will push this raw results file into this lr2 database okay so <clears throat> let me go back to the controller okay no this is not the controller sorry it's analysis i don't need it close it so this is the controller okay yeah the test is done guys okay so close to 880 pass transactions are there okay now you wanted to push this data from the controller to this influx db so simple just click on results and then export to influx db i am going to do that i am going to do that before doing that let me go to this influx db and i am going to show you again that okay now we are already using this database called lr2 if you say show tables okay there is no tables here you see there is no tables here okay now i am going to push the data from okay export to influx db 
okay so you see connection to the influx db is done processing is completed so the data has been pushed to the influx db now the data has been pushed to influx db now if you open this lr2 you should be able to see the data okay i'm going to show it to you now okay now i'll say show measurements you see now there are two tables that is created one is transaction table and one is user count so kumar is there any data in these tables yes just say select star from transaction don't forget that double quotes guys you know that's how the influx db is designed and you see that's the data that is all being transferred okay and you can say uh, select and there is one more table called v user count right select star from v user count okay you see there's little bit of data in this table so now as you can see you have a hundred percent proof that the connection is established and the data has been pushed to a database called lr2 wonderful guys so the first part is completed now the second part in the second part grafana is already installed now we try to make a connection from influx db to grafana how can we do it first of all <coughs> you access this grafana after installing the grafana just say local host 3000 you will be able to access the grafana now create your add your first data source click on that okay so do you want to you see for grafana you can you can grafana can integrate to prometheus prometheus is a database as well okay graphite open std and influx db so you can show the graph from any of these databases so it can get connected to any of these databases but i'm going to show it to you how it can connect to influx db click on influx db just give a name okay i've already made the connections earlier guys okay so uh, that's why you know just ignore all those for this i'll say lr2 okay now you have to give uh, uh, the, the 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 url okay this is grafana as you can see okay here is the grafana which you are trying to make a connection to influx db the influx db url you already know it right localhost 8086 how do we know it's localhost 8086 when you have when you have invoked okay when you have invoked this particular database it is clearly giving this one okay so localhost 8086 okay just from the grafana from the grafana you give the server to your influx db and here you give to which database you want to connect to lr2 okay in this in this influx db you are trying to connect to this database called lr2 i don't think there is any day any username or password for this lr2 just say save and test okay you see data source is working data source is updated if you have given anything wrong okay for example the database you have given wrong or something you have given wrong and you are signing to save test definitely it says influx db error and what is the error also to show okay but here we have given this information correctly and we have given this information correctly and if there is a username password for this lr2 give that information as well and the pertinent information along with that so you just say now i don't have the username password i just say save test and it has saved now the connection between these two happened very well okay wonderful all the connection you have given here okay while you are making uh, making a connection uh, from influx db to controller you have given all the information connection information here and when you are trying to make a connection from this one to this one you might be thinking that i have to do it here no you have to do it here okay wonderful guys so the connection is made and you watched it in your own eyes as well the connection is successful okay and the and the name that you have used is influx db okay wonderful kumar now the connection is made what and there is some data in the database called lr2 now i wanted to see that data visually in the form of graph in the grafana i do understand that for that what you have to do is you have to create the dashboards okay just just go here click on the dashboards okay if there is already some da dashboards which are there click on manage uh, i have already created some dashboards here so <clears throat> you can just click on manage and you say create dashboard or you can just say dashboard so that sorry you can just say home so that it will it will create the dashboards okay so it's not moving hang on guys okay yeah so you click on dashboard you can just say add empty panel okay now this is the graph but not the graph for your database for something else so your database is what influx db lr2 is what you have defined okay and uh, immediately you see there is no data okay 
not to worry not to worry okay so what is the data that you want that kind of query i want i wanted to see the data of uh, basically the table okay there are two tables right okay so there is a table called transaction there is a table called user count i wanted to see that i wanted to see all the data which is there in this table called transaction over here okay so you wanted to see all the data basically okay it's pretty simple guys okay just say to pull up all the data the query is select star from transaction okay there you go that's the that's the query right so it will pull up all the data write the same query over here you see this pencil mark is there click on that and write the same query here and do understand that select should be capital from should be capital and uh, the table whatever the name that you have given it should be in the double quotes so the table name is transaction okay transaction and i don't need anything where because i am pulling out all the data and here i want star okay so there should not be any extra spaces yeah okay so now <clears throat> okay so select star from trans is it transaction or transactions okay sure it is transaction with a capital t transaction with a capital t okay it's, it's case sensitive guys okay click somewhere else once the query is built click somewhere else and then you should be able to see the data as you can see here in this one you see transaction group name transaction name transaction product all this is been pulled out okay so whichever you want you can look it up okay so and then hang on guys uh, the, the, it's supposed I mean it has pulled out the data as you can see but it is not showing the graph maybe I've messed up here or something here okay uh, to not to show uh, the, but the data is coming definitely because you are able to see all of that okay uh, which is there in the database but uh, just that I have messed up something here okay so um, display bars lines okay that is fine okay once i say apply okay so the data is being pulled out but weirdly uh, there's not much you can see it here okay uh, just give me one moment uh, guys uh, where is this here right there you go so guys I, I was able to figure out the issue and there seems to be a small issue uh, I've created some you know external variables because of which it is able to you know play around so basically here is the data that is showing now okay so uh, the point is like you know uh, here uh, the idea is like what is this data and all that will keep that aside okay we'll keep that aside whatever the data that you want later on based on your need you can pull that data and all that and write the queries accordingly but i am now displaying all the data which is there okay for the entire thing so that's what the, i was doing anyways now i was able to establish the connection from controller to influx db and influx db to grafana and uh, push the result, push the data from controller to influx db created a new database and push the data over here and then show that data into the grafana okay so this is what it is guys uh, so i hope this will be useful to you and maybe in the interviews if they ask you probably you can tell this as a minor challenge and then they might definitely ask you why you have to do it when there is analysis but you can talk about all this in the interview because the interviewer himself might be a little surprised because you wouldn't have done this okay anyways guys so this uh, guy, this video will be useful to you and madhu especially for you i think uh, uh, you know you are waiting for this so it will be useful to you and you have a company laptop make sure the ports are open with your uh, talk to your networking guy that guys that could cause the problem but hardly i could spend only one hour and i was able to figure it out guys so it's very simple so if somebody wants to do it install the newer version of load runner immediately and try it it doesn't take more than one hour
okay but it's fascinating thing you know it, it gives you some sort of you know that energy and that feel good factor if you if you happen to do this so thank you guys please uh, stay stay tuned and then if you have any request uh, that you want to make me any video just leave it if i have time i'll do it these days i'm able to find time because i'm not taking any freelance projects okay for this one month or 15 days and again again i'll start taking some freelance projects so until then you know uh, if you have anything just post it across to me and if i'm able to do the research and then share that video with you i'll certainly do and by the way guys if any work is there in your company uh, which you are looking to outsource it we are there isha software solutions we are the experts and then we can i mean we will be able to handle the all the performance testing projects guys manual testing performance testing projects anyways thank you so much take care guys and again corona time you know stay at home as soon, as much as possible uh, one i mean very bad news one of my dear student manish he has taken all the classes very studious very nice guy he has taken dynatrace he has taken app dynamics he has taken cloud pe he has taken pe j meter i mean yes he he's so hard working and he's to take all the classes and he found a wonderful job as well uh, but um, he happened to die um, and i don't know when it has happened but i came to know only this week uh i think a week to 10 days and i felt so 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 bad guys so i used to talk to him regularly used to call me kumar sir i have this issue i have i have to face this interview so he is a very nice guy very nice guy but he is always used to be little tensed up for even the small things uh, in his life so maybe uh, may his rest uh, you know um, uh rest in peace guys may his soul rest in peace i really 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 pray to the god that you know uh, uh his 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 soul find uh, you know um, a peaceful place and then you know um, i'm feeling so bad about him uh, but others uh, please please okay stay at home uh, people are dying uh, you know if you have to go out only if it's if it's very important if you have to go out just go out and uh, uh, yeah wear your masks don't forget it okay and uh, take care guys bye bye